We was right next door to each other. Now it's a group of us. Like a mug. And I look at her like. This is me. They wanted to talk about boys. Yeah, I'm looking at the boy. Me and the boy make eye contact. So minutes later, like after they got done walking off, the girl who be fucking with him asked me how I know him. And I'm just like, what? Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Back with another bullshit story that had happened in her life. Halloween month. Happy monster over. I hope y'all like my shirt. I'm trying to just I'm trying to dress like the theme of the month. <laughs> so like this is my shirt. I got this shirt from um Walmart. It was like six dollars, y'all. And I'm like, okay, let me do something for my subscribers. Like, I know they want to feel the energy of Halloween and the month of monster over. Let's just do something for them. I hope y'all like my decorations because I did myself. <laughs> I got this thing from um, Dollar Tree. Actually, I got everything up here from Dollar Tree. Um, y'all, these was originally candy bags, but when I got it, I didn't know. I just, I just grabbed it because I just saw a lot of um Halloween faces, so I'm just like, I'm gonna stick it up on there. Y'all can't even see it, but I take that on there. I got that from Dollar Tree too, y'all. I just love decorating. Wait till freaking Christmas. I know if y'all know me, then y'all know I love to decorate. I love to change stuff around. I love to be cute. I love to do all that other stuff. So knowing that these holidays is coming up makes me happy. Like so, um, I'm gonna be wearing a theme for the month of October. I'm only gonna wear it today. I'm gonna wear my other Halloween shirt on Halloween. I'm not sure what day that is because I do gotta upload. Let me see what day that is. October 25th, the next time I'm going to wear another Halloween shirt. But, it's okay. I know y'all ain't come here for the Halloween shirt. Y'all came here for the tea and the tea only. I just want to say thank y'all again for subscribing to me. Thank y'all for watching me. Thank y'all for being there with me every step of the way. Y'all is the reason I continue to upload videos, tell y'all the bullshit stuff that had happened in my life. Y'all is the reason. Literally. I wouldn't do this for no reason. Who tells their business? Me. Who the fuck let everybody know what's going on in life? Me. Me, y'all, uh, me. So I don't really get no fun. I don't care. So y'all, I'm over here sipping on tea because I am sick. <laughs> sick of these bitches. Like, nah, just like, I am really am sick. I've been coughing, all type of stuff. I need to get this cold out the way. The weather been changing. The weather been changing from one day hot, one day it's cold. Like today, it is 62 degrees. Yesterday it was like 80. Cause I had on some shorts and some sandals in a crop top. Now today I'm finna wear a hoodie <laughs> and some jogging pants. But yeah. As you can see by the title, you read it right. Let's go ahead and follow my, all my social medias. Adari Takayla. A-D-A-R-I-E-T-A-K-I-Y-L-A. -E -E but without further ado, y'all. Now y'all ready for the tea. Y'all ready for this motherfucking tea. Y'all, it is early as hell, y'all. It's 920 in the freaking morning. Before we get into the video, I want to send prayers out. I want to send blessings out to y'all to have an amazing October. This is the first week of October, so I know it's already fresh into the week. Write y'all calendar down. Write the stuff y'all got to do this month. Write down everything y'all trying to accomplish. If you was mad yesterday, be happy today because it's a new day. It's a new month. It's a new everything. Like, new beginnings, fresh start. Never hold on to what happened yesterday. Because yesterday ain't going to make your day better for today. I just want to say, happy two months consistency to me. Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm getting this shit done if y'all don't even see it. If y'all see it, if y'all don't, I'm getting this shit done one way or other. Because I be having a busy ass fucking schedule. I be having a busy schedule. And if you know, you know. Without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so y'all, this happened over three years ago. I don't want to say over three years ago specifically because I am a junior in college now. And it haven't been a full year as I've been a junior in college. But let's just say, okay, let's just say two years ago. So this happened two years ago. Okay, I was an incoming freshman with the bear. I'm like, y'all know before y'all get into school, y'all be on Instagram. It's like, we had this um, Instagram page that they made for incoming freshmen. And it was like, introduce yourself 
introduce yourself, shout yourself out, where you from, um, what's your major, and like what you do, like your hobbies and stuff like that. I didn't know about the page until my friend told me about it. Like, you need to tell the people that you're going to this school, and so you can meet more people when you get there. So you don't just gotta be alone when you first get there. And I'm like, cool, cool, okay. So I sent my um picture. I wish I can show y'all. I sent my picture of me and like where I'm from, my major, and what I'll be doing when I get to my college. They posted me, y'all. My picture went up, and I ain't I ain't even expect my picture to go up because I'm just like. They they posted that and a whole bunch of people was texting me. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna overdo it and say a whole bunch of people, but they like, oh, okay, she cute. I'm finna text her, I'm finna bother her, I'm finna be her friend or whatever. So they did that. A couple people was asking me. I was texting a couple people back, but at the same time I wasn't because I'm just like, what you want to be my friend for? What you want to do? What you trying to do? Like, I'm always curious on what people trying to do what's people intentions because i don't be jumping straight into friendships like that that's why things ain't work out like mm. so anywho some girls was well not some girls like two girls was texting me uh, um asking me when i was coming to school because we all had different moving dates so i'm like i'm coming in on such and such day when you coming in like we getting to know each other and stuff during moving i moved into all girls dorm and i didn't like that i still regret to this day that I wish I moved into the co-ed building because I just feel like being in the all girls dorm, I was so closed off. We had our own room. We had no roommate. We had no suite mates. We had straight singles and we had community bathrooms. I regret it like to this day, but it's okay. Like shit, I'm good now. Yeah. So the girl I was texting over the summer before school started was telling me like, we should um pick the same building. I'm like, if we can pick the same building, I ain't really tripping. That's fine with me. I told her, like, yeah, that's fine. We could pick the same building that we're at the bam. So, boom. We picked the same building, and we lived on the same floor. So, she like, okay, we're going to be moving. So, we moving in on the same day because we on the same floor. So, I'm like, cool. That's cool. That's cool with me. I'm moving in. I don't know how the girl looks for real in person. Like, I don't know. I got this bad. Like, I could see you on social media, but in person... I would not tell if that's you or not. I don't know why. I just got that so bad. And I hate that for me because I be like, dang, is that her? Sometimes I be trying to put the face to the Instagram picture, but sometimes it just don't be matching. One girl, when I met one girl, she was like, girl, I thought you was taller because you look taller on Instagram. I'm like, taller? 6'6"? Six, six? Girl, I am literally 5'2". Five, 5'5", five, five, brown. <laughs> I'm not even 5'2". I think I'm 5'3". I'm one of them, but I'm not near tall at all, <laughs> at all. So that kind of was shocking me because it's like no way you thought I was freaking um, six something. I don't think I give off tall on my Instagram. I don't know. You never know what people see on the outside looking in. So when they finally see you, they like, dang, she really short in person. Oh, she little as hell. Like this and third. I always got called I was short. Ugh, whatever. So the day comes for moving. I came with my other friend back from Chicago. We came together. We came to school together. And when we came to school together, we moved in at different times. She moved in in like three. I moved in in like nine. So I had to leave from Chicago at like four. I really hate that. Leaving from Chicago at 4 a.m., bro, in the middle of the night to get here at 9. I'm moving in and stuff. I'm trying to find, like, where the place at, where, how I check in, where I get my idea, where I take my picture at. All type of stuff like that because, like, I'm my, this is literally my first time on campus. First. Well, I won't say, like, first, but it was, like, my first. Came to the college before, but, like, I didn't really get a good tour because it was, like, late after the semester so i guess the tour guys wasn't there to really give us a tour so we kind of gave ourselves a tour and we weren't doing a good job because we didn't know where the hell to go so i didn't really know where a lot of stuff was at but i knew where the girls dorm was at so i'm moving in i'm gonna go take my pictures y'all i went to go get cleared i went to go show that i got my covid um test came back negative and everything else i that's this one people who had to go get covid shots and vaccines and stuff y'all never got that vaccine i'm not gonna lie i'm not I'm not a dummy test, like a test dummy. I never went to go get that vaccine because I never trusted it. They're like, COVID fake, COVID made up, y'all just getting stuff tested so they can be richer, trying to see if they stuff work or if it don't. And I just, I believe it. Like, where did this COVID come from? Where did COVID come from? I'm just thinking about it now in my head and just like, they really didn't know what was in that COVID vaccine. They really was mixing some shit up and trying to figure it out and get it you know, push it so they can make some money. Just know we was fresh off COVID and COVID was messing up a lot of stuff for us. So it was like, 
are you sure we're going to be back in school for a long time or are we just here for a little time to see if COVID come back? Because you know, everybody had to leave school when COVID happened. I don't I'm talking loud enough. I don't feel like I am. My voice is really gone. I'm sick. I'm coughing. I'm still sipping on tea. So as I'm moving in and stuff, I'm with, I got my whole family with me, y'all. I don't care. I got my whole family with me because it's like, I'm going off to college. Y'all ain't finna see me for a while. I'm super happy. I was so happy to leave. <laughs> I was so happy to leave Chicago, y'all. Y'all just don't know. I was so happy to go. So we get to my dorm, y'all. My first dorm on campus, I didn't like it. And I feel like a lot of y'all knew that because I changed my dorm to a new dorm the second semester. When I got my dorm, I lived on like the third floor. The girl that I was texting over the summer, she was texting me like, girl, where you at? I'm here, like I'm moving in and stuff. So I'm not, I'm here too. I'm still unpacking. I'm getting like settled in with my family. And um, I'm gonna see you like after. She's like, dang girl, where you at now? Like, I wanna see you now. Can you help me? She was like, can you help me unpack and bring in my stuff with my family and stuff? I had no problem with it, but at the same time, I'm already like, unpacking my own stuff i can't go stop what i'm doing to go help you personally i just wasn't gonna do that so i'm like i'm still unpacking i'm gonna get up i'm gonna see you after we done pack unpacking and my family going and stuff like that that's when we could really hang out because like my family going by myself i thought i had a thing like that i'm by myself it's like okay we're gonna work together when we done so she's like okay girl when i was in the third so, um, I'm packing, we ended up going to Walmart. And when we went to Walmart, I seen the girl, I think, I, I didn't know that was her. And so she came up to me and was like, are you that girl from Instagram? Like, that's how she introduced herself to me. Like, are you that girl from Instagram? Like, really? <laughs> you didn't see my name? But I didn't even know who she was when she walked up to me because it was like, I can't put the picture to the face. What's your name? I probably can get you like that. So she was like, ain't you that girl from Instagram as I'm in Walmart? And I'm just like, yeah, hey, girl. She's like, hey, nice to meet you and stuff like that. It was like, nice to meet you too, you know? Get to know each other for real. But even though we still shy, that's one thing I love about, like, when you first meet somebody, how shy you be. And then how comfortable you, comfortable you end up becoming when you be around them more. But anyway. Yeah, we were super shy and was like, yeah, she cool as hell. She's gonna be my friend. That's gonna be my campus friend. I thought. <laughs> we grocery shopping. We're getting a lot of stuff from my dorm because uh, I need something to eat. When you first get to college, you always like, how am I gonna survive? No car, no money, no job. How am I gonna survive? Like, that's that's the first thing I was thinking. Like, my mom was gonna be gone. No Ubers out here. Like, it was no Ubers my first meeting, no type of Ubers. And maybe that's because it was COVID, but I don't know. Like, it, it just didn't, I just didn't understand. And then when I tried to get an Uber to the mall, it was like $60. I was not, I was not, <laughs> I was not paying that $60. They had me messed up. So, yeah, that, that was out of the, that was out of the freak question. But luckily, my friend from Chicago came down here with the car so we was like going grocery shopping at the same time after i get done grocery shopping i go back to my room my family was like kind of putting my stuff anywhere and if y'all know me y'all know I'm, I'm a perfectionist like i want my stuff decked out i want it cute like i don't like that basic room stuff i never did like if you could tell you could tell like that always been me my whole life i never liked it the the the, the basic rooms i would take my time to put everything up fix everything make everything i even made this desk i made this desk right here huh but i made this desk i'm not finna sit here and say i made it made it i'm like i put it together i screwed stuff in and, and i put the shelves in and stuff like that that's that's me i did that it didn't come like this it came like all uh, rectangles <laughs> i did that it might not be the best 30th but i did it you know what i mean like i did it <laughs> so they was just putting my stuff everywhere. And I'm like, I don't like this. Mm -hmm. I don't want this chair right there. I don't want this shoe rack right there. I don't want my bed to be in the middle. Like, it just wasn't given. It wasn't given. So, when my family had finally left, I gave my family and my friends them hugs. And like, you know, it was like a bittersweet moment. Like, I miss out, you know. Mwah, 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 mwah. Get the fuck out of here. Like, I'm ready for y'all to go. You know, I'm to be alone. I loved being alone. So, it was like, bye y'all. I'm gonna miss y'all. But I'm happy to be gone. Fuck you. Like, I love y'all dearly. But I want to be alone. And I want to. 
experience new places like Ohio instead of Chicago. If y'all don't know me, y'all should know that I hate Chicago. Hate it. Hate it. Don't like it. So I'm giving my family hugs and they leaving. Me and my mom, me and my mama hugged for a long time. Plus she's like, my baby, my baby is gone. Y'all, once they left, I decked my whole room out. Like, if y'all can go back to my HBCU dorm room tour freshman year, y'all will see I didn't come to play. I did not come to play. And I didn't even think that video was gonna go up like it did. Cause I was just really just being the decorated person that I am and just doing what I do best. So after I decorated my room, the girl texted me, well the girl been texting me while I was decorating my room, but you you know, I'm decorating my room, I'm not really looking at my phone to text you back or nothing like that. Plus at the time I was recording off my phone, so it wasn't it was not yeah, it was kind of hard. And I'm so glad I got a camera now because, boy, that was a struggle. I used to run out of storage all the time. And that's the reason, that's the reason I stopped doing YouTube. Because I kept running out of storage. Okay, you know, that's that's one excuse. I'll take my phone after I get done um, fixing up my dorm. And she texted me like five times like, girl, what you doing? Girl, hello, hello, where you at? Stuff like that. But she didn't know my dorm room number and I didn't know hers. So she didn't come to knock on my door. I text her back and I'm like, hey girl, I just finished setting up my dorm. Where you at? Let's link. Let's get together. If y'all don't know what link is, it's like meet up and shit like that. So um, she like, I'm in room three such and such. And I'm just like, I'm in room three such and such. Were we right next door? Girl, we was right next door to each other. Literally this whole freaking time we was right next door to each other. And that's scary. That's scary because it's like, no way, we next door. <laughs> Oh my god, you are even be my best friend. Like, really? How did you know to pick the dorm next to me? Face says Like, you would think y'all could be best as fuck. <laughs> so, she leave out her dorm come to my room. And we're just talking, for real. we just just catching up. She was telling me my dorm room is cute. I went to her dorm to go see her. It was like a bed, a cover, and like, that's it. That bed and the cover and some totes under her bed. And it was like, oh. No decorator. Yo, first time being away. No decoration. Shit, yeah. Let me help you, girl. Let me do this. Come on, let's decorate this room. We gotta get this under order. We gotta get this down pat. That happened, and then I found out where she was from. And she was from Detroit, y'all. I don't know if I got, like, this type of magnetic thing that's, like, Detroit and Chicago, and we always become friends. But, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. The second day come in... I feel like we had like a meeting or something. Like, I don't know, bro. Cause they had Bane on our door the second day of us being there. Yeah, bro, when they banned on our door, I was so scared. I'm like, no way this happened. No freaking way this is happening. I started recording out on Snapchat like, y'all, no way. They banging on our doors. That's crazy though. Like, I didn't never know that before I came to college. I don't know if that's a secret or something, but yeah, I didn't know that. So, um, as they started banging on our doors, they was like, get to, uh, the calf, get to the calf. At the time, I didn't know what the calf was. I'm like, what's the calf? What's the calf? I'm texting my friend, like, with my homegirl, like, what's the calf? What's the calf? She like, I think that's the lunchroom. And we just like, is that the lunchroom? Like, is the calf the lunchroom? Because the calf sound like some coffee or something. Like, I don't know. It just ain't sound like the lunchroom to go get something to eat from. So I'm like, okay, let's go together. Me, you, and my friend back home from Chicago. We all go together, three musketeers. So I'm like, okay, cool, we in this video. Yeah, I be so happy. I love, like, I just love, like, friendships. <laughs> so I'm like, let's go, let's go to um, the calf, y'all. Let's go to the calf, y'all. So we all linking in the middle of the hallway. My friend lived on the same floor as us. My friend from Chicago lived on the same floor as us, too. So she lived at the end of the hall. So we all just met up in the hallway and walked together. So boom, we walking together to the cab, and um, it's just like a new feeling and a new experience for all of us because it's like we on a campus we never been on before. We on a campus we never been on before, and our parents are gone. We hours away from home. Like, how is this really gonna be? We really gonna experience the friendships to all that stuff. And I didn't really, I don't know. I'm thinking about it now. Like, dang, I really live this, but in reality. When you in the moment, you don't even think like, dang, I'm really living this. If that makes sense, you get it, you get it, you don't, yo. But anyway, we walk into the calf, 
everybody is leaving out at once. So everybody in the building got their clothes on. Everybody leaving. So we get to the cafeteria, y'all. It was morning time. It was like eight in the morning. We eating breakfast. We um sitting at the cab. It's just like when you first get there, it's like everybody looking at you. I want thinking think it's nothing good. We all hanging together. We sit at the cab tables together and we talking and stuff my friend met a friend that same day and she started to um hang with us too because she was by herself she was texting my friend like she's sitting in the cafe by herself my friend like you can come sit with us so at this point it's four of us i never gave the girl a name the girl over the summer i'm gonna give her the name of we're gonna call her mariah i'm, I'm gonna keep calling my friend chicago friend and i'm gonna call my friend chicago friend friend chicago friend Honestly, them they don't even matter in this story, but they was there. And the only person that matters in this story is Mariah and two other girls that we're going to meet. So, boom. We still in the cab. They doing like a line dance in the cab and stuff. So, I'm new to all this. I don't know what's going on. I don't. I'm trying to see why everybody dancing in the middle of the cab. Like, I was so confused. But, mm, so... I'm just recording, you know, trying to get my college experience. Like, my friend Mariah had two other friends from her city. One of them was her best friend, and one of the other girls was her best friend, friend that she met in college. Now, it's a group of us. There's six of us now. Well, I'm like, cool as shit. I love groups. I love hanging with people. Let's, let's do this. I didn't really get to talk to Mariah, two other friends like that, simply because I wasn't feeling the vibe. My friend, Mariah, she was acting different when they came around, like, I don't really know how to put it, but she was just like being obnoxiously loud. Like, mm -hmm. turns out we all lived in the same building. When I go back to my dorm, it's like, okay, see y'all later. I'm gonna go to my dorm and be closed off. Like, I don't know. I always grew up like in a household, like where I always stayed in my room. So since I always stayed in my room, it was just like, I didn't know if other people wanted company because I damn sure didn't want company because I was just so closed off. So, um, one night they was on the yard. I was just looking at it on my Snapchat. They had like this gathering at night and they was dancing, doing line dances. It texted me like, do I want to go outside? And it's like, yeah, I come outside. I text my other friend from Chicago like, do you and your other friend want to come outside with us? tonight and she like yeah so we all meet up and uh, march to outside to the yard we didn't even know like bruh it was just so hard because we was all confused but we didn't want to look confused so y'all know how y'all is when y'all are freshmen y'all know y'all lost this fuck on campus but don't want to say shit or ask nobody because you want to look like you've been here before you don't want to look new when well, everybody came to college it just looked like everybody was freshmen i don't know if that was just me but it just looked like everybody was a freshman like, everybody just looked lost. <laughs> Maybe that's just how I was thinking in my head. But, anywho, we meet up together to go on the yard. And, y'all, we on the yard. They doing line dances. They dancing. They turning up. They done the third. I'm trying to get comfortable. I'm trying to, like, enjoy my time being here. So, so one of Mariah's friends was looking at my friend from Chicago, like, like a side eye, like, like a mug. And I look at her like... What's, what's like what's going on like i ain't get it because i'm just thinking like maybe that's just her face expressions like you know how people got resting resting faces they just look like mad all the time whole time they're not mad they're just looking like that to be like i don't freaking know why they be looking like that that's so ugly to me but i look at her and she was doing it for a while so look this i'm my friend my friend mad at her own business this mariah friend This is me. Confused, cause what's going on? So I say something to Mariah about it. I'm like, you see your friend mugging my friend? Mariah plays so freaking clueless, y'all. Mariah was like, what you talk about? I ain't seen nothing like, she like, I, my friend do not be mugging people. Like she just, just was clueless. I'm like, okay, now, now we don't know who, who tweaking now. Who, who, you, you know, you know what's going on. You see your friend, bro. You with your friend every day. This is your best friend. You know your best friend more than anybody else to know them. So for you to say you don't know what's going on, you ain't seen nothing, it's crazy to me. So me personally, I'd rather handle it civilized before I tell my friend about it from Chicago because my friend not going to handle shit how I handle it. So I'd rather just handle it myself because, you know, I bring these people around my friends. So it's like... We either gonna figure what's going on or like figure what's going on out or we just not gonna hang no more. Cause I don't like the weird energy type stuff. So I'm like, okay. My as um Mariah was acting slow, I'm like, okay. Okay, Mariah. Like, good day, Mariah. When I tell my motherfucking friends. I I I didn't tell her in the moment because you know, like, if you tell somebody that in the moment, they instantly could go off. I I'd rather tell you later 
when we just like us two so you can like start peeping it the next time it happened and stuff like that so we in the yard y'all we learning the line dances y'all it took me three years to learn these line dances i swear i cannot get them down back y'all know that to me a hustle song da, 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 I did it enough for you. yeah i'm just now learning that my junior year of college yeah it took a long time for me to actually sit down and look at the feet and watch them do that because i couldn't get it i really couldn't get it so i probably like you know like I had learned like two of them. Probably like the cut it dance and yeah, I don't know. I think that was the only one that I learned <laughs> as a freshman. But that to me, hustle one was always popular. Like they, everybody did that one. Every freaking body. And you just like, dang, I can't get that right. Like it'd be the feet. The feet be moving too fast. So one minute you over there, one minute you over there. I don't know who to believe. I don't know who to trust. Like, <laughs> but yeah. So later on that night, we still out on the yard while everybody else like, dispersing so we out on the yard dancing and stuff like that i wasn't dancing i was really sitting down because i really don't like attention i really don't want to draw myself attention when i'm already a new freshman i don't even yeah i'm gonna let y'all do y'all thing i'm gonna sit here and chill you know so they um standing on top of the uh i don't know what it like you know the brick stick brick seats outside like if you go somewhere and you see brick seats it's like that it's brick seats they were standing on top of that and it was like some music and they was just dancing 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 i don't know I, I felt like i wasn't having fun like i don't know i feel like the energy was just off ever since the beginning of it but hey i'm still gonna be here i'm still gonna be present so mariah came up to, mariah came up to me and asked me like what's wrong girl you good and i'm just like yeah i feel like my face says it all but i say nothing like i don't know like i don't like that because like my face was said before I do, and I don't, I don't really fuck with that. Because it's like, damn, you know something wrong with me. I haven't said nothing, but you know, we know, you know, I know that something's wrong with me. And me and my friend from Chicago was like, girl, you ready to go? Because we both was ready to go. Ready to go in the house when everybody was out there on the yard. But we just stayed out there for the fun of it, you know, to like get the experience and stuff like that. Because I didn't really know what to do as a freshman. I didn't really know where to go, who to hang with, who to talk with, you know. We just got this friend group and we stick it to the friend group to the end of college as we talk so me and my friend from chicago end up leaving uh so y'all know has the group of us now so everybody cool everybody cool so my friend from chicago her friend wanted to stay with the girls from detroit to stay with mariah and she wasn't ready to go in the house so i'm like okay so as me and my friend walking back to the dorm mariah texts me like why y'all leave so early why y'all want to go in the house to be bored and i'm just like Bro, we've been out here for like three hours. We don't want to stay out here all night. Like, what the hell? Y'all tripping. I ain't going to stay out there all night. Especially when you just... It's really... I'm going to keep blaming it on COVID because it really was COVID like that made me stay in the house. I ain't party since 2019. And you think I'm going to just jump straight into a party being back on campus? I mean, being on campus. Like, no. Not even a party. A little gathering. We don't even know each other. So, you really just standing around sitting there vibe yeah yeah no i was tired of doing the fake smile i was tired of standing there nodding my head yeah and then i wasn't drinking at the time y'all i don't think i started drinking till like the end of uh, december i text her like yeah i didn't want to stand out there all day just looking lost and shit like you know i wasn't i was tired of doing that so she was like girl y'all need to come back outside y'all don't need to be in y'all dorm get out y'all dorm this that and the third so i'm like no no, I'm, I'm cool. I want to go lay down. I do. I really want to go lay down. And I don't know if it's just me, but anytime I go to my room and it's cold as hell, I turn the heat on. Like, you can ask my roommate now to today. I still do that. Like, when it's cold in my room, I will turn the heat on. No matter how many degrees it is outside. I'm cold, I'm turning the heat on. Like, I, I hate that. I hate being cold and I hate being hot. So, one got to give. I don't know which one got to give. One of them got to give. I can't be both at the same time. That's how you get heat flashes. But, you know boom me and my friend walking back to our door we talking and stuff we was trying to see like did we like it did they, you know did we like it or anything like that and my friend was like <clears throat> my friend was like she liked it but she don't feel like she clicked with the other girls the ones i ain't with so i'm like i could see that but like why do you feel like that stuff like that she was like oh no i just i just feel like that and i'm just like um well this is when i told her like the girl was mugging you we was outside i don't know what's her animosity towards you or like what she got against you but she was definitely mugging you looking like she had a problem with you and she instantly when i told her that she's like who 
who who like who and i'm like mariah best friend i'm not giving them no names in this story besides mariah because mariah is the root to the problems so boom i tell her she like who 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 and i'm like mariah best friend she like she was mugging me that girl was over there trying to be kiki kaka like friendly with me how was she mugging me my friend was like i'm gonna say something about it i'm just like you ain't really got to say nothing about it because start peeping it first before you even say anything about it because maybe that was just her face expression for that day Maybe that's just how she was feeling in the moment. She probably didn't even direct it to you, but her energy is, like, strong, so it looked like it came off towards you. I don't know, y'all. It was it was really crazy. So I'm like, um, just just keep the scene. Just keep the scene. Okay, boom. So the next day come, we hanging together again. So at this point, y'all, I'm not a clingy friend. I've never been a clingy friend. Like, I don't want to see you every day. I don't want to talk to you every day. But they, they wanted me out of my room. They wanted me, wanted me out of my room. So... This day, I didn't want to go outside. All five of them showed up at my door like a diary. Come downstairs and sit in the lounge with us. I did not want to. I swear. I did not want to. But I'm not going to be a bitch about it and be like, girl, no, 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 no. I'm not coming down. So, boom. We all go down to the lounge. And I'm just like, what are we going to do in this lounge? What what are we going to do? We came to the lounge to have a conversation. They wanted to talk about boys. They wanted to talk about boys they talked to on campus. If you know me. Back then, if you know me, I still don't even do it down. But if you knew me, you know I don't ever say nothing I got going on. Ever. If you know my day one, bro, if you know my right hand man, you not finna know. You not finna know. And I'm only telling y'all this now because I do story times for a living. Y'all gonna find out shit that's old. Y'all never gonna find out stuff that didn't happen in my life right now today. Like, as I speak right now today because I just went through some shit. And y'all don't even know because I'm gonna tell y'all in like a year or two. Or six months too. Whenever I feel comfortable telling y'all, I'ma tell y'all for real. But them, uh-uh. I ain't even know y'all like that. I, I feel like we was only friends for like a couple days, couple couple weeks. I don't remember. But we wasn't that close for that long because I know the friendship group didn't last that long. So we all downstairs. They talk about some boys that they mess with on campus. Y'all, at this time I had a boyfriend. I wasn't even looking at no boy on campus. I couldn't even breed these niggas way. Like, I I still don't. Like, I'm not interested in no man on campus. Like, okay, anywho. So, they talk about, oh, I knew what they was talking about. They was talking about one boy who was from Chicago. He came here. He he didn't enroll yet, but he was just living on campus. He got this tri -cong. I hope that don't bring a bell in y'all head because... If you know, you know, but this is fresh me up. Y'all remember, y'all remember. If y'all don't, y'all don't. I, I don't even know what to say. So, yeah, they said he was from Chicago. He had this track hog like that. I'm just like, oh, type shit, type shit. I hear y'all, though. I hear y'all. I really don't even really care. One of the girls was saying she messed with him, and one was saying she messed with his friend. So, I'm just filling in the tea. Like, I'm just getting all this information. I don't really do nothing with the information, but, like, keep it noted in the back of my head. Like, oh, him... Oh, you was talking about him? You was talking about him? Oh, okay. They sophomores, they freshmen. Okay. I know who they is when I see them, but I'm never going to, like, say nothing to them because, like, I know who to stay away from. That's how I've always been. Like, i always been ten toes on, like, okay, they did some weird stuff or they messing with you. You talk to them, I'm, they off limits. But they was already off limits because I had a boyfriend. But who? <clears throat> they were just opening up to each other. And... I don't, I didn't click with them because I don't open up to people that often or that fast. And I'm, I always been this innocent girl. I don't give a fuck. I don't always say it to the, to the day I die because I've always been innocent. I always, people always look at me like, oh, she probably doing something. She probably, not. no, no, all my life. I had one boyfriend my whole life. I ain't even claiming nobody else. Like, who you talking about? I don't know what y'all talking about. Like, no, man. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. It's like, yeah, no, I'm, I've definitely been innocent my whole life. I don't really care what y'all talking about. But, yeah, and I'm just like, I just, I I never liked talking to a boy in the same school as me because, it's like, you see this nigga all the time, all the time. Like, y'all be together all the time. You don't get no space away because y'all together all the time. So, and then you never know what they doing. I had some worse experiences high school years, so, whew, child, baby, no. As they all opening up, I'm just sitting there, like, listening to them. So, they was like, what you got going on, Adari? What you got going on? I'm like, nothing. Nothing at all, like, sorry, nothing. Like, I, I genuinely don't got nothing going on. Like, nothing whatsoever. And if I did, I wouldn't tell y'all. But my friend was like, yeah, diary don't be really, a diary don't be really doing that. The diary don't, um, talk to people like that. Like, she just keep them cool and stuff like that. Like, the diary really innocent. That's because I am. That's, that's because I really am. I wasn't feeling the vibes of the 
the talking about the boys situation. I don't know why, but I wasn't because they and it was just like they'll throw in like um they know that they fuck with another girl and they still mess with them. I don't like that shit. Nope. Don't 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 bring that shit. I don't like that shit because that me that make me think if I had a man he'll go here, y'all would talk to him. Y'all would talk to try to talk to him and still be my friend at the end of the day. Like no. I don't fuck with that shit. I guess it was like a girl talk for real, but I wasn't really talking because I'm not I ain't got nothing to say. I'm a riot best friend and her friend was talking about how they had two men and they spent the night over some boys in some boys' dorms. Two of them slept on the floor and the other two slept in the bed because it was the boy who don't, who, it was a boy from Chicago who don't live on campus but he got a friend that live on campus. Yeah, one of them slept with him and one of them slept with his friend on the floor. So if you know, you know, why are you sleeping on the floor when everybody else got a dorm? Like, it, it's. What, the girl go to your dorm like even though he don't go here like physically enrolled why why you can't go to your dorm and y'all y'all i don't know it was just weird to me it was a boy from chicago and um the two girls from detroit so i think both of the boys was from chicago in general and both of them was from detroit y'all i don't know it was just it was just I, I don't know okay so after they got done talking about that and connecting on a level i wasn't connecting on we was finding out that everybody was gonna be at the courts so we was like, okay, we wanna go to the courts. How do we get to the courts? We don't know. We don't know. We did not know how to get to the courts. We trying to find every which way to go on campus to find these things on courts. But now, like, you know, I go here now. Like, I've been here for three years. I know where the courts at. I know how to get there in the heartbeat. So as we walk in, we just walking and talking. We walk past a group of boys. So as we walk past a group of boys, um, Mariah's best friend start to, like, get loud. Like, if you know how a girl is, like when she do too much, when she see boys, they get loud. And the, the group of boys, oh, I never even said, the group of boys was the boys that was from Chicago. And the, and the track hog and shit like that. And the other friends and other friends, yeah. It was them. It was them group of boys. So I could see why she was trying to make a scene, make herself noticeable. But at the same time, it's 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 not attractive. It's not cute. It's not, I don't know. Not, hmm. Yeah. So we walking past them, y'all. I wasn't really trying to pay attention to them or her. I was really toned the fuck out and just trying to get found of courts, for real. Like I was really irritated with them. So as we walk in, my friend from Chicago, like, girl, you see them? You see what they doing? Like, you see them showing out? And I'm just like, I wasn't paying attention, but now I'm finna like tune into what they doing, cause. I'm just not interested. I don't really care. I'm not trying to make a scene. I don't like secondhand embarrassment. I don't like attention. I don't like all that. So, I wasn't trying to pay attention. So, when I did pay attention, I'm looking at the boy. Me and the boy make eye contact. Like, I don't know. We just made eye contact. I don't want to say we knew each other, but we knew of each other. Because we all be on, in Chicago, we all be on Facebook. So, we post pictures, we follow each other. You know how Facebook is. If you're from Chicago, you know, you know, you all stick together. For real. We said what's up to each other. And, um, some minutes later, like, after they got done walking off, the girl who be fucking with him asked me how I know him. And I'm just like, what? How do I? I don't even know. Like, we just Facebook friends and we finally see each other in real life. Now we cool. She thought I was talking to him because he said what up to me, like, you didn't even know this man for that long. Like we first off, we fresh on campus. We all knew you already messing up by messing with these men already. You need to you need to like observe before you even jump straight into anything you got going on. That's the first thing you always need to do anytime you mess with somebody on campus because you never freaking know. You never know. So the girl best friend, um, was starting to look at me funny like mm, that bitch messing my nigga and whole time he not even your boyfriend y'all really just had a hit it quit it like i ain't gonna lie y'all had a hit it quit it and it is what it is so i'm talking to my friend from chicago like you hear her like me and her just having these look sad conversations as we walking like you hear her like she really think i talked to this boy i got a whole boyfriend i got a whole boyfriend back at home like i don't care i don't care about that man like no I don't care what kind of car he drive. I don't care what kind of chain he got. Oh, I didn't even put this part in. Y'all, I guess they was going. I guess these. I guess the group of girls was going because this damn boy was. Uh, what's that? OTF. Yeah, OTF. He had an OTF chain. We knew he hung with King Von or whatever. So that's what made them really like. Okay, I want to fuck with him, girl. Y'all really gotta be 
I told rabbit ass man if you think I'm finna just talk to somebody because they got they hang with this type of person or got this type of money. Yeah. Mm mm. No. She felt some type of way about that. She started to give me y'all weird energy vibes. So I'm like, I don't gotta be your friend, girl. I don't really give a fuck. Like I don't. I really don't care. So I'm telling my friend this. I'm telling my friend from Chicago this, like I don't really know like about this group of girls that we hang with because they weird like I don't really I don't like it like I don't like the energy they giving off when it comes to men like y'all know they be messing with other girls y'all just acting so crazy over them already so it's like you bad at me for saying a hey and for, for him saying hey and me just saying hey back really really okay that's that's what we doing okay clearly we not locked in for real because but anyway, imagine y'all, they don't know nothing about me, so they never, they just gonna assume they know, like, oh, she talked to him, oh, she messed with him, who she be with, who she hang with, you know, stuff like that. I always feel like people always wanted to figure me out, but I'm not a person who can figure me out because I don't tell people my business. I, I don't. We finally found a course, y'all. We found a course. They all got a them fucking, uh, that crate talent. Yeah, they was over there. They had the crate set up. Everybody was just walking up the crates trying to, um... You know, be, go across the crates. They got music going on. They smoking. I mean, no, not smoking. Sorry, they're not smoking. They was um chilling, having fun. At this point, it's just me, my friend, and the other the other girls distanced themselves. Like they wasn't really with us at the moment of the craze. So I'm like, I'm telling my friend, like, girl, this shit getting weird. This shit is getting weird. Like weird as hell. And then it's getting weirder because my friend, friend, is now with they group. Cool, cool, you know, I ain't really, we ain't really tripping. So it is what it is. We sitting outside at the crate, um, at the crate event or whatever. I guess they was trending. A lot of people had came out. It was so many people. Um, it wasn't just freshmen. It was more of us, like, I remember I was like, I only seen freshmen. I only think, I thought everybody was a freshman because I ain't know who everybody was. So everybody looked like a freshman. Everybody looked lost to me. But when we finally see more faces, it looked like more upperclassmen people. So since we like in front of upperclassmen people, um, the group I hung with gonna make themselves feel known. They go, they gonna, they gonna definitely try to make themselves known around it. So one of the girls came up to me, my friend, during the crazy event, and was like, "My brother want to talk to you." Telling me her brother want to talk to me. I tell her like, "No, I got a boyfriend. I ain't looking for nobody." Like, and then y'all be hanging with these boys. Like, I don't know who all talked to him. Y'all will put me on with somebody who got a girlfriend, and y'all wouldn't tell me because I don't care. Like that's the type of time y'all was on. So I'm like, no, I got a boyfriend. I got, I got a boyfriend. So she was like, girl, you ain't even got to talk to him for real. Just give him your number. And I'm like, I got a boyfriend. Like, I don't want to talk to him. She was like, really? You not going to give him your number? Like, he was just supposed to be somebody important. Like, no, I'm not. So my friend was like, my friend jumped in. was like, she just told you she got a boyfriend. Why you keep trying to put her on when she already said she got a boyfriend? What, what are you doing? And then she was like, wasn't he one of the boys that was sleeping with one of the other girls? And she was like, um, no, nah, he wasn't her. When? Like, she played slow. Like, when was this? I didn't know about that. This, that, and the third. Girl, yes, you did. Yes, you did know about that. Like, come on now, man. Stop playing slow, bro. Boom. So, yeah, she telling the girl, like, stop trying to put me on with this boy. She already said she don't want to talk to him. And wasn't he just one of the girls? He was just with one of the other girls. So, I'm like, right. Like, he was just with one of the girls we hang with. How you gonna try to put me on with him? She played slow. Like I said, she played dumb. But after that had happened, me and my friend had left. I'm just like, I'm not fucking with it. I'm not. They irritate me. Like, why are you keep trying to force something that I already said I don't want? I just feel like that's crazy to me. For real. So, we end up leaving. We, me and my friend go back to our dorm. We chilling in my friend dorm. And we talking about the other girls. Because, like, y'all weird. Like, y'all really trying to put me on with a boy who was just sleeping with one of our other friend homegirls or however you want to call them because i don't feel like they was my friends to begin with me and her was talking about that and i'm just like girl i'm gonna start this is to myself like i know how i feel when it's like energy weird so i'm gonna start this is to myself so she's like no i don't this is yourself just thug it out we're gonna make we're gonna make some more friends this then the third i'm just like no nah. Me being like by myself and to myself alone, I met a friend. Her name was Heavenly. We got cool, but she had transferred on me. That was my dog. But luckily, we was from the same city. So, yeah, you know Chicago people always got to stick together. Like, we're going to always spot who from Chicago out out of everybody. So, once I started hanging with Heavenly, um, they started to feel some type of way. Like, Mariah and her crew and um, my friend from Chicago, friend. Just look at them as all fours. One Chicago girl 
and the three girls from Detroit. And plus my friend from Chicago. But like exclude exclude her from this right now. It's just them four. So they was feeling some type of way that I was hanging with a new girl. So one day they came to my dorm and was like knocking on my dorm. A diary, a diary, a diary, like bother me. And then just I opened the door and I'm just like, What's up, y'all? What's up? They like, Can we talk? And so they came in my room to talk and I'm just like, What's up? They talking about some I feel like you don't be messing with us how you used to mess with us. I don't know what happened. But let us know like what's going on. Because I thought we was all had agreement that we was all gonna be friends when we was all gonna hang together this and the third. So I'm like, yeah, no, nah, um we can start back hanging out this and the third. So they like, okay, girl, okay, cool. You know, we missed you and stuff like that. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I missed y'all too. I missed y'all too. So boom. Why, like, when they left my room, room Mariah stayed back. So me and Mariah still talking. And Mariah telling me, like, yeah, her best friend don't like my friend from Chicago. She feel like she could easily talk to her boy. But she felt like she could easily talk to um one of the boys that she talked to. And I'm just like, my friend won't do that. My friend will not talk to none of them boys from Chicago, bro. We already in the same city with these men. You think we want to talk to the men that's in the same city with us? No. Why would she want to talk to somebody from Chicago? I explained everything I just said to y'all to her. And it was just like, she wanted to like get some information on my end. Like if my friend actually talked to him. And I'm telling her like, no, she don't. She don't want no boy from Chicago. They already so freaking in love with these boys. It's crazy because y'all trying to see if my friend talked to one of y'all dudes. When y'all need to go be asking the next girls who talk to them. For real. Like, get your priorities right. For real. They already so boy crazy. So, she ain't trying to hit none I was saying. Because they like these boys. They already, you know, slept with them and stuff like that. So, I'm just like, yeah. I, this give me another reason to actually just back the fuck away from y'all. If you see somebody talking in, in person, that don't mean they always got to talk. Like, mm -mm. So, some time passed and I ended up telling my friend from Chicago, like, yeah, they think you talked to the boy on campus with the track hawk. She was like, me and him did have a conversation, but I ain't even look at him like that. But that was before she even met the, um, the Detroit girls. Even if she did end up talking to him, she don't owe them no loyalty because at the end of the day, they messing with all these other boys on campus. X, Y, and Z. They not thinking about just one boy. They think about a whole other group of other boys. And I'm just like, no. Nah. It was one day on the yard and I was walking to the student center to go to the cab. And it was like, hmm, I think it was like 6 o'clock. And uh, I was going by myself. I seen this car drive around and it was two boys on the hood and one boy hanging out the sunroof. And the girl was hanging out the um window. So it was a lot going on with that car. So they making a lot of noise. They like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like looking at them as I walk like, these goofies. Like, hey, get y'all stuff together. So turn around to actually see who they actually was. It's a new boy, actually. It's these new boys. I don't even want to get them a name, bro. I really don't. It's these new boys. It's these new boys and Detroit girls we hung with. So, they all like, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck you talking about? Fuck you talking about? Just making the scene. And I'm just like, who they talking to? Like, I'm the only one walking in right now. Who Who is they talking to? Just like, hear them. Fuck you talking about? Fuck you talking about? Yeah, bitches don't want no smoke. Bitches don't want no smoke. I'm just like, I didn't know who they was talking to. So I just continue to walk to the cab. I go to the cab, y'all. I go get my food. I'm sitting down by myself. 15 minutes so past. 15, 20 minutes. I don't really know. But some time had passed. And I just hear a group of people walking inside the uh, cafeteria making so much freaking noise. I didn't want to look back because I really don't want to pay attention to shit that be going on. Like, back then, I didn't want to pay attention. So I look back. I turn around at my, um, my little seat. And I'm just like, who is that? Because they clearly they want to be seen. They want to be seen. So I'm looking at them like, who is that? So it's the four girls, the one Chicago girl and the three Detroit girls, and like five boys walking into the cab, making so much noise. And I'm just like, what the fuck? How did I even become friends with these people? Y'all making too much of a show in here, and I don't want to deal with that. As I'm getting up to carry my plate to the garbage can, um, Mariah came up to me like a diary. And I'm just like, yeah, what's up, I'm all right. She like, girl, you ain't gonna hang out with us. You ain't gonna go outside with us. We just took our first shot today. We've been riding around in the car all day. We've been lit. You need to come outside with us. And I'm just like, nah, I'm cool. Like, I don't really wanna, you know, you feel me? Like, you feel me? Like, I ain't, you know, feel me? I ain't really explaining it, but I'm just like, nah, I don't really wanna. 
I just want to go to my room. So she like, uh. So she like, uh, girl, you need to stop being in your room so much. It's so irritating. Like she's just telling me her true feelings. Like it's so irritating. You always in your room. You never know what to. You never come outside with us. And I'm just starting to think you don't want to be our friend no more. So this one I was like. After she said that, this is when I was like, I don't got to hang with y'all every day to be y'all friend. I don't got to talk to y'all every day to be y'all friend. Like, if we friends, we friends. We ain't got to communicate every day to act like we friends. So, she she felt some type of way about that. So, she walked off. Like, she didn't say nothing, bro. She just did this little walk off. Like, she did this little walk off. And it was just like, oh, okay, and scene. That's a movie scene. Like, I don't know. Like, it was just, it felt like a movie scene the way she just... Came up to me like a diary, diary said all this goofy shit. And then I told her how I felt about it. And then she just walked off. Cool. I don't got to say nothing to y'all no more. I don't really care. So I'll leave. I leave out the cafeteria and I go back to my dorm. So I go back to my dorm. I'm just chilling in my dorm. I'm not mad to no thing. I get on Instagram. Um, I see Mariah best friend make a post. Like It was like, bitches don't want no smoke. Bitches always be put up, had in their room all day. And honestly... The last thing I thought that post was about was me. I swear. The last thing I thought that post was about. So, I look over the post. Like, I'm like, okay, cool. Talking about somebody. I guess y'all were with some girls on campus now over some niggas. Like, clearly, that's the type of life y'all came into college wanting to have. So, this is what y'all gonna get. So, they go live. Mariah holding the phone and her best friend next to her and other, you know, the other two girls with her. But they're not really in the camera. It's like, she got the camera set up right here. And it's just Mariah and her best friend and other girls are behind the camera. They just don't live talking. Like, talking about some whole bunch of other stuff but when i joined the live they didn't say hey adari and nothing like they see my name they was like look who joined y'all and like it was so weird they was like look who joined y'all and put the screen to them like show everybody i'm just like okay okay so like i said my pride was too big to even like explain myself or even say nothing the next day i think it was um i was going to the bathroom because you know we got a community bathroom i'm leaving at my dorm me and remember me and mariah live right next door to each other so i'm leaving out my dorm mariah come peek out the door Trying to see who even out they don't. I hate nosy people. Like, why are you so nosy? Like, stay in your own bubble, girl. Like, why do you care what the next bitch is doing? So, I'm leaving out to go to the bathroom. I got my shower got my shower bag and I got my robe on. I'm going to roll my shower towel. And I walk to the community bathroom. So, as I'm going to the bathroom, uh, I hear, like, oh, well, I made it to the bathroom now. And I hear some, some girls walking up to the bathroom. So, I'm, like, I'm not really thinking nothing of it. Because at the end of the day, y'all, I... Sentence or whatever I have to do or whatever I have to say. Like, I don't really, I'm not really thinking about another female at all. Cause, like, I don't feel like I got no ops, so I'm straight. So, I'm going to go get in the shower. I hear some girls talking. I hear them chit chatting, like, chit chat about me. Like, I hear them talking about me as I'm in the shower. And I know Mariah knew I was in the shower because she watched me leave out my dorm to go to the shower. It's like, Adari don't hang with us no more. I don't know what happened with her and stuff like that. So I'm just listening. I'm just scooping out the energy. I'm just scooping out the, the words everybody are saying right now. Because I know I had three voices in this bathroom. Not even me because I ain't say nothing during the moment. So the ex, one of the girls said that. And then Mariah said, I know this Mariah because I know Mariah's voice. I knew Mariah before all these other girls. I hear Mariah say, she ain't got to hang with us if she don't want to. Like, on some, are we good without her? I'm just like, huh? What? Like, I don't at the same time, I really didn't give a fuck because I really didn't want to hang with y'all in the first place. But at the same time, why would y'all come to the bathroom to say this while I'm in the shower? Make it make sense. Y'all really wanted me to hear that because if y'all didn't, y'all would just stay in y'all room. Unless y'all actually didn't know I was in that bathroom in the shower. So, <clears throat> I'm showering. I'm showering. They've been talking for a long time by now. Like, they didn't went on three different topics. I'm still showering. I leave out the bath. I get out the shower. I open the thing. They all look shocked like they didn't know I was in there. I'm leaving out the bathroom. Yeah, they look at shop. I'm walking. I walk straight past them. Like, I didn't say nothing to them. They didn't say nothing to me. Like, I thought they thought I was going to speak to them or something. But, like, no. After y'all just said, I'm being weird because I'm, um, my bad. I'm being weird because I ain't hanging with y'all this and the third. I thought I literally just said, I don't have to be with y'all every day 24-7 to act like we're friends. Y'all should know that more than anybody. But y'all know people grow up differently. I've always been alone. I've always been distant. I've always been not clicking. So, boom. I leave, I go to my room. When I walk past them and they say nothing, like neither one of us said nothing, I'm like, yeah, this is definitely the time for me to just walk the fuck away from this friendship or situationship or whatever we had going on. 
So I leave, they following up behind me. I don't even wanna put it like they was following up behind me on some pressing me type shit because they wasn't, they was following up behind me because they was all walking to my right room. And I was in front of them because I had walked out the shower and they was acting surprised and I just walked out. So they behind me giggly, giggly, giggly. So I'm like, okay, okay. So I get in my room and then like, I hear a knock on my door. I hear a knock on my door, it's my friend from Chicago. And I'm just like, What's up, girl? Like, you know, talking to her and shit like that. Telling her what I heard in the bathroom. Because me and her haven't been talking for a few days. So, I got to catch her up on some little tea that she don't know about. Because, like I said, I don't talk to people every day. So, I'm telling her, like, what's going on. They really messed it up for all the Detroit people. Because I just looked at all the Detroit people like weird. But now I got this Detroit friend. I love her to death. But, anyway. After that situation happened, I had left it alone. I stopped talking to them. I literally be walking past them every day. But my friend from Chicago was still hanging with them. And I just felt like it was weird that you still hang with them. So I'm like, yeah, nah. I'm gonna stop hanging with all y'all. Like, so I be peeping like little Instagram posts that they are making shit like that on Instagram. So one day Mariah had made a post and was like, these college females be weird. Something like that. These college females be weird. You can't call everybody your friend. This and the third. And mind you, I didn't have no issue with Mariah because at the end of the day, me and her was cool when I first got here. So I slid up on her post and I'm like, what happened? Like, you know, just what's up? She was like, you know what's up. And I was like, do I? Do I really know what's up? So I didn't even think that's enough this post. I'm just trying to see like you good, you know, stuff like that. So I'm like, do I really know what's up? And she was like, you should. And I'm just like, fuck, what you want? I be trying so hard to be like this calm, civilized Adari and it's just like people will play with you and play with you until you take off. And like, I love for people to know that they don't know me for real, to know my background, what I used to do growing up. So I just, I love when people underestimate me. I can talk to any kind of way. No, you can't. Cause everything don't need a reaction. But when you try to bully a motherfucker, yeah, that shit over with. She was like, yeah, you know what's up. And I'm just like, right, do I? And she was like, you should. And I'm just like, all right, baby. So after that text message, I go knock on her door. I leave her in my room, go knock on her door. Knocking, 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 y'all. I'm like, not banging like stupid, but I was knocking. She wasn't in her room. So I stood outside her room and waited like, um, for like 15, 20 minutes. I stood outside her room. Her friends came through, but she never came past. Her friends came through seeing I was standing outside her room. I guess they texted her or whatever. It was like a dark standing outside your room, this and the third, being messy like they always do. So, um, they scavenged off to their rooms or whatever, and then Mariah came. So, by the time Mariah came, I already went back to my room, but I could hear when her door opened because she likes right next door to me. So, I hear when her door opened, and I leave back at my room to go knock on her door. So, I'm like, bang, 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 knocking on her door, knocking on her door. Never answered her door, but I heard her in there talking. So, I'm like, mm, okay. This ain't the same Mariah from Instagram. I'll leave it alone. So I left it alone, y'all. I left it alone for a good two hours. And then some hours passed. She back on Instagram making posts. So I'm like, she can't She can't be talking about me. Like, I don't know who she's talking about, but she just can't be talking about me. The post says something like, y'all know what the fuck going on. Like, I really want to know what's up for real. Like, I do. I really do. Like, I didn't care. Like, I didn't care about none of that. None of that. So I slid up again on her post and I'm like, who are you talking about? Like, wh where is all this coming from? Where did all this happen at? Like, I'm so confused. Like, what? So she never texted me back that day. But it was one day me and my friend um, from Chicago was walking to the calf. Because that's the only damn place we was really going. Because it was like the calf, the dorm, the calf. The dorm, it wasn't nothing to do. So we walked to the calf. This time we wasn't going to go get no food. We was going in there to go sit down at the, um, the game room downstairs. So <clears throat> I leave out. Well, we leaving out together. We on our way there. Right, we walk past everybody. So we get, finally get to the um, student center. The four musketeers came down there with some boys. And um, it was a group of them. I guess they always felt like stronger when it was a group of them and not alone. Because if you see one of them alone, they quiet as a mouse. They don't say nothing. But like when you in a group, they act, get the all the most confidence in the world. So I hate them type people. So me and my friend is sitting in that downstairs chilling. Um... We keep we we keep seeing the eye contact coming, looking at us like you know how you feel when somebody looking at you, but they don't say nothing. They just keep looking at you like uh side eye and her or something like that, like uh stare at you or something. So I'm looking at them, watch me, and I'm watching them. So I'm just like, you you see them? Like I'm talking to my friend, like you see them? Like what's really what's really going on? Doing a staring contest, and one of the boys came up to me. Like, I don't know what type of time he was on at that moment, but he was really trying to talk to me in that freaking moment. And I'm just like, you hanging with the girls that don't like us. 
And you trying to talk to me. You you know we don't fuck with them. And you trying to talk to me. That must have been the setup. So remember y'all, like I said, I knew the boy from Chicago um, who had the track hawk and shit like that. He was down there too. He had ended up coming up to me and my friend was uh, talking to us. And I'm like, why you not with your, um, your little minions or whatever, minions? And he was like, I don't fuck with them. I don't fuck with them. I don't talk to their ass. I'm just like, what? Like, he's just telling me all this that happened with them. And I'm just like, ain't no way I don't talk to them. They was just acting so crazy over y'all. No wonder they came down here making the scene. Once again, because y'all here, like, they want to be seen. And he was like, yeah, like, I hit that and I stopped talking to her. Like, that wasn't no, 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 you know, everyday thing. Like, she real irritating. She childish. So, <clears throat> I'm like, you right about childish because she definitely is childish. Like, she gave off a little girl. So, he telling me, and as we talking to him, we laughing and shit. Why they over there looking at us? Like, I swear, if I could put this picture in the frame right now, they was all, like, sitting on a desk. Some standing up, and they just looking over there. Looking at us, talk to him. And I'm just like, he telling us he don't talk to you no more. And you over there looking mad like a mad bitch. He said, y'all don't even talk no more. So, I'm like, cool. He ended up sitting down with us to finish talking. I thought she was going to come up to the table and say something because she be just acting so dick dumb. She be acting so dumb over this man. So, she never came up to the table saying nothing to us, but I knew it was static when um he got up to walk away. So, when he got up to walk away, I'm talking to my friend from Chicago like, girl, you see them over there like they really mad. And she like, Fuck them. Like, she's just so blunt and just like, fuck them. So, some time had passed. Um, and we finna get ready and leave the student center. So, we leaving the student center. Um, we walking outside. You know, you gotta walk past the, um, you gotta walk past a couple things to go to your dorm. We leaving. Why are they following us? They following us outside of the student center saying, like, some things, like, mumbling, kiki, kaka. So, they said something. I look back, cause, y'all, I'm gonna go. Now, like, I'm on, I'm on go. I look back at them, but at the same time, you you know when you feel like somebody talked about you, but you don't necessarily know what they saying about you. Yeah, I'm like, okay, so I look back. They walking, they walking, they walking closer and closer to us. So I stood there. I stood there to see, like, what was going to happen with y'all. They in a big group, mugged up, all type of stuff. But when, when, when they get closer to us, it get quiet. Like, nobody mumbling no more. So I'm, I'm looking, like... Like, I didn't know what was going to happen, but I was ready for whatever was going to happen. So, they walking, they walking, they walking. They walked past us and said nothing. Walked past us and said nothing. I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, I I was ready. Like, it was like, whatever. Whatever happened, happened. Like, I ain't give no fuck about the school shit no more. I'm like, D I, don't, I, I would hate to leave, go back home after only been here for, like, so little time. I would hate to go back home and, you know, because I was fighting. A couple things had happened after that, but I'm going to end the story off here because they ain't want no problems in that moment or nothing. Like, they was just so weird. And I just hated, like, my college friends. My first, I hated the first friendship group I had in college because it was like, y'all weird. Like, I'm a weird as hell. Y'all really mad about some men, y'all. That's already talking to numerous people on campus. Y'all mad because I don't want to hang with y'all every day. Y'all mad over little stuff. And then y'all, it, it was just so weird. Like, y'all... Y'all had to be there to feel this, like live this shit. So yeah, I'm gonna end the story off here, y'all. That's my horror story of my first friend group at college, and they they wanted to definitely jump me. Everything didn't end there. It was some more little insiders on that little friendship I had with them in the beginning of the school year. But I'm gonna end it off here, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So y'all post notifications on for my next story time. Happy October, Monstober, however you wanna call it, but. I really pray y'all have a I really pray y'all have an amazing October. Turn the notifications on for my next Wednesday upload. I might do a part two to this because it's just a lot of most stuff I gotta say about them. Cause <laughs> But that's it for today's video, y'all.